We are taking a deeper dive into noise reduction on the Canon C500 Mark II. In prior tests, we've learned that in Super 35 mode, you need to do a custom tweak to noise reduction in order to uh, limit the amount of noise. The question then comes up is, should that tweak been, be done in full frame mode and should it be left on all the time? So right here, we're seeing full frame mode, uh, noise reduction at default. Next up now, we've changed the noise reduction setting of frame correlation from zero to one. That is the custom setting that's needed when you're in super 35 mode. So looking at this, the question is, can you see a difference between this and the prior clip, noise reduction at default in the prior clip and frame correlation here at one? with frame correlation, there is a chance of some ghosting if there's movement within the frame or camera movement. So I'm about to move my head around a bit, um, as you can see, show off my haircut, which I gave myself about a week ago, and we can try and determine if there's any difference. I can't see any difference with frame correlation set to one or zero in full frame mode. For the next round of tests, the camera is gonna be moving forward from the front of my studio back to my computer. First up, we have default settings for noise reduction. And next up, we're gonna have frame correlation within noise reduction set to one. As with the prior test, I can't see a difference. Some may ask why I do this. I think it's really a question of if you're gonna be switching between super 35 mode and full frame mode a lot, will it be okay to leave frame correlation set to one or does one need to switch it on and off whenever one is in super 35 mode? The last round of tests here, we're looking at a chip chart. The difference here is I've bumped the ISO up to 6400. The C500 Mark II has some noise at 6400, but it is in general very clean. What's great is with frame correlation set to one, as you can see here, it is incredibly clean. There's virtually no noise and that's amazing. Here we have a side by side. I think overall what these tests point to is the fact that you can leave frame correlation set to one in full frame mode without any negative effects.